New tonight, some say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and if that's true, then why? CBS 4's Vanessa Borge takes a closer look now at the science behind attraction and why we're often not drawn to the same people. Channing Tatum, unbelievable. We often look to Hollywood for standards of attractiveness. So I tend to go for the tall, dark, and handsome. So I think Joe Manganiello is really attractive. And Leonardo DiCaprio? Yes, I'm in a commercial recently, and I was like, okay, yeah, I see you, Leo. <laughs> People agree that your George Clooney's and your Brad Pitt's and your Ryan Gosling's are fairly attractive people, and most people would rate them as being more attractive than a Donald Trump or someone who's less known for the attractiveness of their face. There are some characteristics that people find generally appealing, like facial symmetry and healthy skin tone. Yes! Still, we don't always agree on who's hot and who's not. Is that because our preferences are programmed in our genes, or are there other factors at play? Researchers at Mass General looked at almost 800 identical and fraternal twin pairs and showed them 200 different faces. And what they found is that genetics don't seem to play a huge role when it comes to your facial preferences. Especially once people have moved out of the family home, they start to have very different experiences, different groups of friends, different relationships, different exposures to faces, even as they're walking down the street. And those factors are probably what's shaping a lot of these individual preferences. Look at these faces and rate them on a scale of one to seven. Like between these ladies, we asked them to rate the faces in the study. He just looks like a, a serial killer. I think serial killer is extreme. <laughs> She's really attractive. Her complexion is really pretty. Mm -hmm. It's not a stunner. It's not just the face and it's not just the body, it's the personality and the total package is really what makes somebody attractive. It just goes to show you beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but is more than skin deep. Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News.